Where are you going? On a girl's cruise. This is my first time with being alone with Jack. Guys, yeah, Sarah has been gone for less than an hour. Oh, oh for red. It's the petting zoo. But next thing I know, my arm is on fire and I'm getting freaking stung by a bee. Jack. Good morning, bud. Mama's leaving us. I'm leaving, Dad. She's out. I'm outskies. Where are you going? On a girl's trip. <laughs> My first ever girl's trip. Where are you going? Tell them where you're going. We are island hopping to Kauai for three days. And we're going with seven of my friends. <laughs> And, oh no, eight of my friends. This is a big deal because I've done... Boys trips. I've done a couple boys She's trips in the past. and surfing. And this has been a long time in the works for the girls, but they can never find time. Someone's always pregnant, someone's having a kid. So they finally figured out a time they're gonna island hop just to Kauai. Woo! And it is gonna be me and Jack yeah. for the next three yeah. days. Huh, buddy? Yeah. We gonna have fun? Gonna document your adventures, huh? Oh yeah, Dad and Jack. I'm gonna miss you though. I'm gonna miss you too. This is, you guys, this is my first time being with alone. being alone with Jack. I'm kind of nervous. I'm, I'm excited, but kind of nervous. Ready to go. Let's go. You ready to go? Okay, we gotta go take Sarah over to her friends, Jack. Come on. Wait. I'll miss you. <laughs> You're gonna do great. Yeah. The boys. The boys. Finally, without me telling you what to do all the time. Hopefully he doesn't get hurt. He, he won't get hurt. We're gonna try and ride the bike. swept up and away. We're gonna try and ride the bike. Okay. Right, Jack? We are on our way to Megan's house and I just realized how much I'm gonna freaking miss Jack and Eric and Jack. <laughs> well, I've been away from Jack, but I've always been with Derek. So it's gonna be weird to just be on my own. Yeah. It's only two and a half days, so it's fine. it's fine. I'm excited, I'm super excited. I'm just like, oh dang, I'm really gonna miss them sinking in because it's both of you you so. need this though this is gonna be so much fun for you yeah this is gonna be good like you can actually sleep in true you can i can sleep in. i feel like my body won't let me sleep in though that's like the worst part is like i'm trained to wake up at like five yeah I'm, but hopefully i'm gonna try yeah. this should be fun guys guys sarah has been gone for less than an hour and I, I was just trying to do some cleaning and I thought, hey, Jack can kind of just hang out in the shower for a second. And he literally, okay, okay, here. Oh yeah, oh my gosh. Okay, okay, okay. <coughs> Buddy. All right, let's clean you up. Well, that, that went well. Yikes. <laughs> okay, I changed Jack into a swimsuit and now we're gonna go to the beach because just having him inside is not working out right now. <laughs> He's just not an inside baby. So we're gonna go to the beach where he can just run free and we're gonna have some fun. You say hi? What do you got all over your face? Yeah. Yeah. Are you filling the acai cup with sand? That's kind of fun, huh? We got to eat the cup and now you can fill it with sand. It's like a fun toy. We're just chilling right here, watching the waves. Hey bud, can you say hi to everyone? Say hi. Hi. Uh, yeah. Jack, do you see a woe in the sky? Do you see one? Yeah, there's lots up in the sky flying, huh? That's way cool. Yeah. <laughs> look at Jack, your mouth is all sandy. That's what you look like. You look funny. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> Jack has been sleeping for three, wait, whoa, no way. Almost three and a half hours. This is, this is a new level. He's never slept that long in Hawaii, at least. It's usually just too hot, but I think it's because it's winter here. It's, it's a little colder. I got like, all sorts of work done. Did some emails, did some Instagram stuff, um, did some brand stuff. It actually took quite a while and I got it all done. I cleaned up the house. 
I didn't think I'd have time to do that today, but we cleaned it up. Everything mostly is put away. Here's our whole pile of mail. Sorry, I have to talk really quiet because again, Jack will totally wake up if he hears me. So sorry if you can't really hear me right now. I don't know what to do now. Like usually when Sarah's here, there's there's stuff to do. Like when Jack's sleeping and we get our work done, we'll just like talk or hang out or just like make food together. But now I'm just like, I need my buddy and my buddy is sleeping. And lately, I know I usually don't like Jack going down for naps, but lately I've really enjoyed it because he's been a little more challenging. He's been going through a weird transition and sleep time has been nice, but now I want him to be up. I want to hang. And this morning at the beach was so much fun. I'm like, let's keep going. Let's like, let's actually like go rage together because Sarah is gone. <laughs> Sorry, Sarah. I am really excited to have these next few days to just hang out with Jack and just go do fun stuff and just do like some daddy son stuff, father son stuff, whatever you call that. You guys, I actually like really like this. Like at first I was kind of nervous thinking, oh, you know, I'm not going to have Sarah's help. He's a lot. He's a, I mean, it's constantly needs to be entertained. Got to keep the house clean. Got to get him food. He's just always on the move. And so, oh, freak. Okay, it's okay. I think he's going to wake up anyways. He's crying. I'm excited. Like we're going to have a ton of fun. I think it hasn't been too hard yet. So hopefully it's, hopefully it doesn't get hard. <laughs> Buddy. Bud. I think that's the best nap you've ever taken. Dad. You wanna come out? <laughs> okay. There you are. Hey, you just took the best nap. Four hours. That's the longest nap you've ever taken. You just set a world record. We're gonna go to Costco and go get some yum yums. With Dada, we can go get some food too to eat. Okay, I get you. You guys, the only downfall about living in Hawaii is that it just took us an hour to get to Costco. Actually, a little over an hour. And Jack actually did amazing. He's been doing so good. Normally, that would be a long car ride where he's screaming and just not happy. But he just freaking chilled. I accidentally forgot one of Jack's shoes in the car. So he is just rocking one shoe for, for now. <laughs> and he was kind of freaking out while we were trying to get stuff. And I'm like, this is gonna be the longest Costco trip ever unless I start giving him snacks. So I opened up my oranges. He's having an orange right now. That probably wasn't the best call because now he's just got sticky fingers and I've got sticky fingers from peeling it. Far so good. We're just gonna need to get him lots of snacks. Wow, I get a gift you. Ready? Whoa, I get a gift you. <laughs> we go this way? How's that orange, Jack? I'm gonna get you. <laughs> Whoa, Jack. You're the one shoot bandit. We'll pick whatever you want, though. <laughs> Except that. That's a lot of sugar. Yeah, where are you going? Oh, what is that? Hey, where are you going? <laughs> hey, get back here. Push, push, push. Good. You are helping so much, Jack. Go, go, go. Good job. <laughs> Had to make a little stop after Costco at Kane's. Just me and Jack hanging here. I like, bought him a kid's meal. I think this is my first time ever buying him a kid's meal. Okay, Jack, we're done, we're done. That didn't work out very well, did it? Okay, now what do we do? Jack, time to go to sleep, buddy. Buddy, you wanna go to sleep? Hey bud. Good morning everyone. Jack say hi. Can you say good morning? Oh there you go. Hi. Are those Kodiak cake pancakes? Seriously so good. You guys, Jack is obsessed with them. He put a little bit of peanut butter on them every day. He downs it. So today's day three. Sarah comes home tonight. Yesterday was awesome. We actually had a nanny in the morning, so I was able to go surf for a couple of hours, which was amazing because I haven't done that in forever. He took a four hour nap. You guys, that's two days in a row that he's taking a four hour nap. Oh, are you wiping peanut butter all over me? Thanks, buddy. And we just hung out yesterday, went for a little bike ride, kind of just a mellow, chill day. Mmm. That's good, huh, bud? Yeah. Oh, you want me to Oh. Oh, mm. oh I think good. 
Mmm, Dada loves it too. Thanks, buddy. I'm gonna get your pinky. Oh, sorry. I'm gonna get your. Can you give me your pinky? Ah, I got it. I got it. Mm. Oh, now you got it. In all honesty, like, I miss Sarah. This has kind of made me realize, like, the little things I take for granted. With everything that Sarah does, like, there's so many little things that you have to do as a parent, and if you're a parent, or if you've been around that. Cleaning them up after they eat, doing the dishes, getting them all ready for bed, cleaning them up, getting them dressed, packing the beach bag, just making sure that they're happy. Like, Jack just constantly needs attention, and when, when Sarah's here, she's way, way better than me at giving him all the attention. A lot of times I'm just kind of chilling and like, I, I can't tell as well as she can what he needs. What I'm good at is having a lot of fun with Jack and playing with him and being, you know, having energy and just being like really fun with him. Sarah's good at that too, but she's just excellent at being really, really responsible. As much fun as we've had these three days that she's been gone, I'm just like, dang, I don't want you to leave. It's just so nice with her here. And then honestly, it's like 10 times more fun when we're all hanging out. We miss her. Do you miss your mama, Jack? Do you miss mama? It's been a lot of fun, but it's definitely 10 times better with Sarah here. Anyways, Jack's gonna go down for a nap now. And I think I'm gonna take a nap too. I haven't really slept since Sarah's left. Hey, after your nap, should we go on a bike ride and see if you like it this time? Should we try that? Okay. I'm gonna get in! <laughs> Where's Jack? Jack. There he is! <laughs> So we just took the bike down the road. It was about seven, eight minutes. Jack did so good. He's back, you guys. He had that freak out. He didn't like it for some reason, but now he's loving the bike again. <laughs> go, buddy, go. Jack, do you want to go pet the animals? Yep, those are the horsies. And we can go pet the goats over there. It's the petting zoo. How exciting is that? You want to go see them? Okay. You see it? Oh. <laughs> Say hi to him. Hi. <laughs> yeah, you're being really nice. Is that what a goat says? Yeah. Say hi. Mama. <laughs> oh, is there a mama in there? That one's the mama. So we just got done at the petting zoo and I was like, oh, I'm gonna take Jack to go get a corn dog. There's this new corn dog stand. And the girl's like, what kind of corn dog do you want? And I said, oh, what's the best kind? And she's like, I love putting mine in honey. Do the honey corn dog. And I was like, okay, sounds great. And all of a sudden there's been, there's like a couple of bees and I'm like, okay, yeah, bees like honey. I'm petrified of bees. But in this moment I was like, I gotta keep cool for my son. Like just, just stay cool. He doesn't know that these are scary. So I just keep my cool. And then like here and there, the bee would kind of come and like land on me and I'd be like, oh, get off. And I like freak out. I finally calmed down and I was literally letting them land on me. And then kind of just, Show them off. Next thing I know, the lady behind me is like, ah, uh, I just, I don't want to freak you out, but there are two bees on your baby's hand. And I was like, I didn't know what to do. And so I was just like, oh, kind of froze. And so then I kind of just like went like this with my hand and they flew away. And luckily he didn't get stung because that would freaking suck. And you never know with kids if they're gonna be allergic or not. But next thing I know, my arm is on fire and I'm getting freaking stung by a bee. And I, then at that point I was like, oh freak, I got stung. And so I just like took it off, pulled out the stinger. Next thing I know there's like seven or eight bees probably. Just like a little swarm of bees flying around me and Jack. Oh, Jack just set off my car alarm, gosh. <laughs> 
So then I'm like, I gotta get out of here. And so I hopped on the bike with Jack and just started taking off and these bees are following us. And finally I got away from them. And then I was like, what the heck just happened? Moral of the story, don't order a corn dog with honey on it. But this is the sting, check this out. If you can see that, like it's a, it's a good old sting. Just wanted to have a corn dog. <laughs> Jack, mama's home, mama's home. She's home. <laughs> Do you want to go open the door? Okay, here you go. Open it, open it, open it. There she is! <laughs> oh. Heck, it's Mama. You've been calling for her all day. Am I top loader? Oh, Jack. To do, buddy. But uh, can you show mama how happy you are that she's home? Can you go give her a big kiss? You've missed her, right? Nod your head. She's still crying so hard. <laughs> Come on, bud. <laughs> You're making mama really sad. She was just gone for three days. Go get her. There you go. Go get her. Aww. Can you give her a big hug? I'll give you a hug. Please, someone give me a hug. <laughs> Somebody give me a hug. Hi. Oh, oh, wow. Okay. Uh, okay, I'm out. I'm out. Have a great video. <laughs> oh, okay. Alright, you can go on a two day trip. Give me my baby back. <laughs> Hey, Jack, real quick, say bye to everyone. Bye-bye. Good night. We love you guys. We're so stoked Sarah's Why back. Why did you learn to say bye-bye? You learned yeah. lots of things while you were gone. Anyways, if you haven't already, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that button to be notified of our future videos. We're so excited and grateful that you're here, and we will see you guys next time. Bye-bye. <laughs> see ya.